Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about the synchronous buck converter, right? So asynchronous buck converter, the video is already available in the channel and it is given in the i button. So if you haven't watched, please go and watch that video. So in this video, we are going to learn about the synchronous buck converter, right? We used uh, synchronous rectification that is why it is called synchronous buck converter okay in the normal buck converter we have there a diode for rectification uh, here we have a mosfet for rectification you can see here we have a mosfet for rectification that is why it is called synchronous rectification and that is why it is called synchronous buck converter right so what is the difference between asynchronous or diode based buck converter and a MOSFET based buck converter that is synchronous buck converter. So, so why we need additional MOSFET here because MOSFET may cost you more in spite of instead of the diodes. Diode may cost you less and MOSFET may cost you more. So why why do we need a MOSFET here in, in place of the diode? So the, the, the advantage of synchronous buck converter is it is higher, it is having higher efficiency, lower conduction and switching losses, lower thermal profile, right? Lower thermal profile, high stability, so in high power converters in high power converters usually to reduce the losses of diode to reduce the losses of the diodes we use mosfet instead of the diodes okay so so this will increase the uh, mosfet will increase the efficiency of your buck converter right and it also reduces the losses and it improves the improve the thermal profile right so now i will show you the simulation and i will run the simulation and i will show you the the waveforms of this buck converter right so here here we have 24 volt at the input and the output is 5 volt so this buck converter is basically converting from 24 volt input to 5 volt output right so it is stepping down 24 to 5 volt right with a certain amount of current let's say here the load resistance is 10 ohm so uh, you can see this is 24 volt then we have a mosfet and here we have a mosfet gate driver right here we have mosfet gate driver then instead of diode here here we have a synchronous rectification that is synchronous rectification is being done by the MOSFET then here we have inductor and then output cap and then the load resistance right let me show you the configuration of this MOSFET driver so you can see here the pulse for this MOSFET is the on voltage is 15 volt and the rise time is 0.1 nanosecond fall time is 0.1 nanosecond and that means you have 2 microsecond on time and 2.4 microsecond is off time right and let me show you the configuration for this this mosfet driver here we have 15.4 volt gate voltage that is VGS gate to source voltage then we have a delay of 2.1 microsecond right so this we can have 2 microsecond and the rise time is 0.1 nanosecond fall time is 0.1 nanosecond on time is 2 microsecond and total time is 4.4 microsecond so I have set configuration for this MOSFET gate driver when this MOSFET is on, this will be off.
right and when this will be off this will get turned on i will show you in the simulations right so then the simulation time for transient analysis i have kept it here 0.5 millisecond right so now i will run the simulation so go at simulation here run button i will show you the input this is 24 volt right this is input and still transient is running you may see some error here this is output right so you can see output is 4.97 or 5 volt here you can see the output is 5 volt and now i will show you the signals some signals so let me divide into the plot first i will show you the gate signal this is the gate signal for mosfet right m1 and this is the gate signal for mosfet m2 let me zoom it further so you can see when this is for m1 when m1 gets is high that means 15 volt the m2 gate is zero right so when this mosfet is on this is turned off when this is on this is turned off right when this is on at that time you can see this is turned off and when this is on you can see this is turned off so th this is basically the gate driving signal of both, both mosfet now let me show you the here this is the yeah source signal or uh, this is the switching node signal so you can see this is the switching node signal when this is high this is high right when this is low gate is low this is low so this is the source signal and if you want to see the inductor current you can see inductor current when gate is high that means this MOSFET get turns on and that particular time inductor ramp ups okay so starting current from inductor is 330 milliampere to 580 or 600 milliampere so we have so this is showing the ripple current of inductor right the ripple current of inductor so this is the inductor ripple current and this is the gate driving signal this is the output voltage you can see here we are also having some ripples starting from 4.93 to 4. Point, right 4.90 that is at least around 200 millivolt ripple at output right so let me run the simulation again if you want to see so that is how yo yo inductor current looks like in buck converter by using synchronous rectification so this is your inductor current this is your let me show you the source voltage switch node voltage so that is how your switch node voltage is looks like so hope you understood the concept for designing a buck converter by using synchronous rectification and why do we need a synchronous rectification instead of a diode rectification so there is a pros for using synchronous rectification it surely increases the efficiency of the converter in high power converter application it increases the efficiency of the converters and it reduces the thermal uh, thermal no, thermal temperature right and it also reduces the losses in losses of the converters so if you reduce the losses that is conduction losses and switching losses of the converter you will have a higher higher efficiency so hope you understood the the principle of synchronous buck 